we were also trying to get the blade of my circular saw um, out because it was stuck. Literally, it's been like seven, eight months and I haven't been able to change it out. And I think it's because, I don't know if I had done that or my dad had done it, but it was really, really stuck in there. So this is what my dad had to do. He had to use the, the Allen wrench, but he had to add uh, this, which is very ingenious, this so that he could have the enough strength or whatever you call it to to get it out because just that little short allen wrench wasn't enough to to do the full force where it could unlock the whole thing so let me show you real quick before anything else guys remember to turn off your machine disconnect it take off the batteries wear safety gloves and like subscribe and turn on the bell notifications for more content like this Thank you, Dad. <laughs> and let me just turn on the lights too, because I can't see very much. But here he is, he's gonna put in the new one. Um, it should be the same size. Podemos chequear, papi, si es el mismo tamaño de la blade, primero. We're gonna check if it's the same size, because I forgot what the size was. But I think it's six and a half, because one of the things that you have to look for, um, it's right here. I think this is your item number. And right there is where it's a six and a half. That's the size. So I went and got the six and a half. Uh, good willing, that's right. And the only thing you have to do really is grab here. There's a lock, but this one wasn't working, honestly. So what we had to do, okay, yeah, it is, it's the size, let's see, can I see it again? Yeah, I think it's the same size, six and a half, yep, okay, and so this one didn't work, so we had to use a vice grip holding the, um, the blade, and then with the vice grip, we'll see it when we put it on, and then the vice grip goes here where the Allen wrench goes, and this is what you have to take out and this is reverse so you tighten it the other way you tighten it this way going to the to the right and then untighten going left it's kind of weird Ooh. here's my dad he's trying to get it out of here i know there it has to be a better way let me check okay guys all you have to do is actually just kind of like a can of of uh, soda pool i already did it though and it takes gets out and now you're able to take it off and now we're gonna put it put it in our grinder this is totally improvised guys so just trying to get you to know how to do this So there's the, the little bolt or washer. And then you put your screw there. See how it's reversed? <laughs> Okay, this is super simple, but I don't know if my machine is just something happened to it. But this is just going around in circles and it's not being. not being tightened like it should. And I don't think when he put it right here that it was. Uh, it went in how it should have. So now he's trying to hold it so that we can untighten the screw that's in the middle. He's using the vice grip. Okay, so now he's getting a grip out of it. Grip of it. He's able to untighten the screw. 
No, pues nada, bebés. Si hay que sacarlo y, sí, y apretar bien. Ajá. Poner eso bien. There you go. So now we have to make sure that the washer goes. Tiene que asentar ahí eso. Ahí está. Ahí asentó. So this doesn't have to move. And I'm trying to <laughs> hold it. Is al revés, verdad? Or is Yeah, you have to reverse. Yeah, so it was just going around in circles. So now we're able to hold it there. Oh, because this esto tiene que seguir. So this one here, my dad grabbed it here, but now this is tightened. But this needs to. No. Is it just as plywood finish? Can you see this? It's not supposed to do this. Okay, so we reassembled. Then we put the blade really tight, tight and down, um, close. And then we added the washer and then we put in the the screw. And now we're holding the blade because we were holding the washer and I think that's what the problem was. So if you hold the blade so that it's um it's a that it doesn't move, you can tighten the washer and, and the screw so that it locks everything together. So he's doing that right now. And okay. here we go. Now I can hold this. Oh, okay. Yeah, and he's gonna go tighten that way. Going. And then? There you go. Apretando. Sí, está apretando. And it's tightening. Siento que no. Bueno. And as you can see now, because it was turning, it was turning within, and now it's better, see? Porque before it was turning inside yeah. where it was uh, loose, mm -hmm. and now it's really tight to the, to the thing. Before it was going around on its own, turning on its own axis, you could say, and now you're able to just it like no. this so we're good and i'm using gloves because this here is no joke this is super super sharp and i've already cut myself even just kind of like grazing like going super uh lightly against the blade oh my god it opens up your your skin so badly guys so be super super careful when you handle this so if your if your circular saw doesn't work with this thing to hold the the blade this is no good in my in mine and i think that's how it was from the beginning too bad on ryobi for that but you can use the vice grip like we like we did and hold it then hold it down tight and then you can um screw everything and tighten everything this tightens as it looks here it tightens to going to the right so you have to make sure that you go that way so it's a little bit backwards there you go i can go and now cut let's go trick give it a try so this is live guys real action real problems <laughs> the real deal let's go cut my piece of wood that i need right now it's on the floor so let's give it a go it's gonna be a new blade it should cut things like butter
it's not cut yet because we're doing it two passes this is way too thick so it's better to cut in two passes one that's like halfway your cut and then you can lower the blade and do the rest of the cut because that way you'll end up cutting the rest of it but it won't be as much friction in your blade and you'll be safer There, I just need to go all the way out because otherwise it'll kick back, so be careful. Thankfully, I have this new cord that kind of held this back. But here's the two pieces cut. Because it's freehand, it's not perfect. And the brand new blade worked like a charm. Mm -hmm. 